Okay, so I'm going to show you how to draw using this isometric paper. First thing I'm going to do, you can see the isometric grid here. I'm going to flip the paper over so you can still see the grid, but it's not going to take away from the drawing that you're going to do. So I'm going to start by drawing a cube, very simple shape, and you're going to do a V shape. Notice it's made out of triangles. I'm going to go one triangle along to make that V and then one triangle up. Let me connect them up. One triangle and then you're going to do an upside down V. Connect that top one. Let's make a tiny little cube there like that. Okay. Once you're happy with that, you will go around the edges with a thicker line make it stand out a little bit and then we can add some shading and do one side very dark like that and we're going to do this side not so dark a medium I'm going to leave the top white and that will give us two tone shading a little 3d shape okay so that's a nice small one let's do a larger one same idea this time we're going to go three triangles Three. I'm going to go three triangles up. On the corners, the ends of those lines. Join them up. And then upside down the Finish that off. When you're shading, if you use the flat part with your pencil, you can cover a lot more area very quickly and it gives a nicer effect as well, I think. Make me fill it in quite quick, and that needs to be added the darkest side so I'm going to go over that in a slightly different direction make sure I cover up all those little white patches and again change direction so it's three times I've been over that and I need to get to this edge Okay, and then this one don't have to go over so many times. This is only going to be our light side. But I still want to make sure it's nice and neat. No white patches. Okay. Final thing you want to do is go around the outline in a thicker line. This is just going to help it to stand up off the page a little bit. There you go, 3D cube, draw on my symmetric paper. Um, next, I'm going to show you how to render and make it look realistic like plastic. Okay, so check my next video for that. Thank you very much.